Alright, in this video, we are going to make, learn to make some make some 3D and perhaps even a tesseract. Unfortunately, this tesseract can't rotate in 4D. It can only rotate in 3D. And you can move away or close up. So first, we'll start on the cube. Let's just ignore this 4D tesseract over here. And to do that, we'll need to render a point. Define point x, y, z. Go to x minus. All right, of course, just don't forget to subscribe for more scratch tutorials. But go to x, x minus cam x, z minus cam z. This is a difference in between x and cam x or z and cam z. And we'll do the same thing for the y and pen down. 9 x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. Pen up point in x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. This is to make a line. Now let's just go to 2D rectangle. 2D rectangle, x1, y1, x2, y2, z. 9 x1, y1, z. So we'll just make four lines to connect them. And all right. If you want, just want a cube, then you enter the cube and tr define three D cuboid x one y one z one x two y two z two. Then we'll need two mm, two dimensional rectangles. So it goes like this, as we can see, and we'll need four lines to connect them. It's actually pretty easy to do 3D. And we can now put something like negative 100, negative 100, let's say 100, 100, 4, 5, 9, nope, maybe 6. I'm not so sure. And now we get a single cube. Alright, so this is how to draw a cube. But if you're wondering on how to draw a tesseract, I'll show you. It's actually pretty easy. And we'll need our 3D. Oh, I think so. I better go through this first. So when the green flag is clicked, forever, set cam x to mouse x over 2. This is depending on how sensitive you want. If you want it to be approximately, let's just say medium sensitive. You might want to do square root of 2. Cool. This will make it slightly more sensitive, as you can see. Alright, so now we are learn we'll learn about how to make a non rotating tesseract, which this. As you can see, it you can only rotate it around like moving your mouse. So it goes like this. It's pretty easy. Again, 3D cuboid in cube x1, in cube y1, in cube z1, in cube x2, in cube y1, in cube z2. Alright, in cube x2, in cube y2, in cube z2 actually. This is to draw the inner cube. Of this 4D tesseract in cube X1, in cube Y1, in cube Z1, in cube X2, in cube Y2, in cube Z2, out cube X1, out cube Y1, out cube Z1, out cube X2, out cube Y2, out cube Z2. That's pretty long. And of course, when you draw the outer cube with 3D cube out cube X1, out cube Y1, out cube Z1, out cube X2, out cube Y2, out cube Z2. And now this line is just like the line we are using in this 3D cuboid. We have to draw these lines to connect the respective sides of the two three-dimensional cubes. For example, in cube S1, Y1, Z1, S1, Y1, Z2, out Z1 actually for the out cube. And S1, Y1, Z2, S1, out, out cube S1, Y1, Z2, in cube S1, Y2. Uh, y2z1, outcube x1, y2z1, and so on. 
And so this is how you make 3D slash 4D tesseract that cannot really rotate on 4D. But for rotation purposes, I think so. You just have to change this. I'm not so sure. I'm not really good at 4D. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe. And that's the end of this video.